Hi guys, Guy Christian 9 here with Let's Play Fable Anniversary. In the last episode, we took on the Orchard Farm quest and we saved the Fisher Guy from some wasps. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and start off by fishing. <laughs> because this is actually kind of important. You want to catch yourself a fish. How difficult it'll be, I'm not entirely sure. Well... <laughs> It's a good start. I don't know why. Catching actual fish is actually kind of hard. Because like, it looked like that was a two snapper. I'm just going to have to be really careful. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so we got ourselves a fish. Alright, so what you want to do with this is, um... Ideally, I don't know if he'll trigger now or not. I'm going to see if he'll trigger now. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave. Go back to the Great Wood entrance. And then I'm going to go back into Fisher Creek. Because I want to see if he'll trigger the, uh, championship thing early. Usually I wait and come back for this, but I kind of want to see if I can get this done now. Because it, from it, some indications, it looked like it could. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's nothing going on. Alright. Well... I guess in uh, this episode, we're going to do a bit of exploring. Since we have our fishing rod, now we can actually do a few things in Orchard Farm. So, first off, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Orchard Farm. And um, pick up the rest of the goodies that we couldn't get before. Now, the Fisher Creek thing, you could probably do that at any point after entering the um, Great, Lo uh, with the, uh, Great Wood area. Um... Okay, they're just wasps and beetles. Alright, nothing too challenging, it looks like. Here, let's uh, go after some of these guys, because I do need more experience before I go on the next quest. Because the next quest in this game is a personal, like, this favorite of mine. Like, it, it's probably my least favorite story quest out of the bunch. But, um... Yeah, not looking forward to it. Get rid of you. And let's just go ahead and go into Orchard Farm, because I don't want to deal with that gaggle of enemies up near the entrance. Okay, so, uh, it may have been quicker if I'd gone through the other area. Well, no, not really, because I would have had to gone through enemies. But, uh, the first item that we want to go ahead and find, if you go all the way over to the, um, farmhouse, you'll see this little ripple in this water here. Let's see how many times it takes me to get this. Alright, this one's a little bit easier than the other fish. Oh, this fish is being a little bit trolly. Oh, come on! Oh my god. Jesus, it, it wouldn't stop. Alright, what did we get for our troubles? An elixir of life, so we get quite a few of these early on. Let's go ahead and use it. Yeah, and restore our health, too. Nice. Alright, so the next fishable spot that we can get is going to be over to this right. Um, you can pick up a few golden apples al along the uh, path here. But, um, other ways over here. But at the end of this dock that's just kind of randomly here is going to be another ripple. So uh, let's go ahead and start fishing for that.
There we go. Taking for well, take a little while for you to pop up. There we go. Now is this the one? No, this is just a tattoo. All right. One of them is definitely important that you want to do. Uh, but anyways, after that, you want to go ahead and go to all the way out to the right. Like, all the way out here. There should be a ripple somewhere. Is the end of the, end of the stock? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Go on. Alright, and let me know if you want me to cut these uh, fishing uh, parts out in the future. <gasps> like, that one was pretty quick, but <laughs> I, I realize they do get repetitive and probably boring. Anyways, here's our silver key. So that officially marks five, so now we can go ahead and go back to Greatwood Lake and open up that silver key chest. Which is going to be good, because silver key chests usually in, in contain items that are rare and, um, you know, very good to find. Some will contain legendary weapons later on that we can um, use for our benefit. Others will carry stuff like potions and, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, not really much else to say, so let's just go ahead and go back to Greatwood Lake. And then after that, um... I guess one thing we could do is start... Well, there are fit some fishing spots in the guild that I do want to take care of first. And uh, while we're doing that, I could go ahead and start up the uh, mushroom thing. Let's go ahead and clear the enemies first. But yeah, there's like a fishing spot or two in the guild woods that I want to tackle. Oh, they're not done. Oh, I didn't kill you. Wow. One bolt killed your friends. Simple. All right, what do you have to sell? I'm pleased to serve you. Oh, you're just a tattooist. <laughs> Dark woods are dangerous place here. And your friends nothing. I'm just going to kill you. And you. That's what you get for being useless. All right, and get some gold. And let's go ahead and uh, clear out this enemy here. There we go. Wow, you had more gold than the trainers. Alright, whatever. Let's see what's in our first silver key chest. <laughs> Yet another elixir of life. Okay. Getting quite a few of these. Nice starting to think that health upgrade that I got was kind of... To get your Worthless. <laughs> oh well. Nothing much to do for it. Out, you idiot. Well, fine. Right ah, this is warped out to the guild. I'll probably be quicker. So one thing you can do is you can hold down down on your control pad and it will activate your guild seal. And if you war uh, hold it down long enough, it will bring up the uh, Colorscape teleportation menu. And you can basically teleport to whatever Colorscape you want to go to. And the cool thing is that uh, when you do leave, if you activate your guild seal again, you'll actually have a recall to go to exactly this very map place that you left. So it's a very, very, very useful thing. Uh, first off, though, I'm going to go ahead and uh, upgrade some stuff. I want to get slow time. Yeah, that'll drain me, but... Yeah. And, uh, can I... Ugh, that's still a little ways out. I don't even know for that. Alright, well, I want slow time, so there's that, at least. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the Guild Woods, because there's going to be some stuff that, that we want to take care of. Um, if I don't get stuck in the trees, anyways. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah. 
Now, the green dots on the map currently, they don't really do anything because one of them is a tour guide for the guild, and he's kind of useless, and the other is just the guild master who just tells you what your next major story quest is, so don't really bother with those kinds of things for now. But anyways, let's go into the Guild Woods, and... Well, just wait, I guess. <laughs> Alright, now you'll notice there's a green dot here. That's going to be important for a major quest for us. But for starters, let's go ahead and go to this ripple. And uh, fish up again another item. If I can get the prompt going. Another fish being trolly. There we go. <laughs> and we get yet another silver key. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk to this green dot that's just randomly here in the guild woods. Hello. Hey, hi. Look. Could you do me a massive favor? My name's Cyril. Me and some friends had a little party here the other night, and I met this drop-dead gorgeous girl from Oakvale. Oh, Myra. I mean, she was a stunner. At least I think she was. But I also thought the trees around us were running around on little chocolate legs, if you see what I mean. Anyway, I really want to see her again. Well. Probably. I mean, maybe it was just the mushrooms and she's actually just an ugly stick victim. Even if she isn't, what if she doesn't like me? I'm going to take my chances all the same. Please, take this letter to her in Oakvale. So, a letter from Cyril. Alright, it's called the following poem. My heart beats for you, Mira. You sent my soul on It's hard to see this. I'm just going to put it up there for those of you who can't actually read it, but, um, yeah. So this is related to the Blue Mushroom quest. I, you could... I must know how well, she feels. The suspense is killing me. Oh, one more thing. Don't try to pass the letter off as your own. I've spent weeks perfecting its sublime poetry. Alright, he just kind of gave you a clue about how to do this the evil way. But it's related to the Blue Mushroom quest. I suppose you could kill him and get the mushroom that way. I don't know, I've never tried that before, but I'm going to go ahead and show off how to do it legitimately. Because I'm probably going to be doing that for all the ways that, that you can anyways. I don't know, I usually just do it the good way, just because I don't really know how to do it the evil way. I suppose killing them is just the evil way. Although there is an evil way to do this part of the Mushroom Quest already. But uh, since I'm starting on, I might as well just continue it and get all the mushrooms that I can for now. So the next one that we want to go ahead and go to is going to be all the way over in the picnic area. Uh, well, let me first see what quest we have. Uh, yeah, the Trader Escort. Oh, the Hop Killing Contest is available. Alright, I guess... I guess I have an idea about what we can do next video, because we're already at about 14 minutes, and I want to get as much of this mushroom thing done as possible. In retrospect, I probably should have talked to the traders out here on Lookout Point before I went to the guild, but... Oh, well, I can't really do much about it now. But, uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, let's talk to you now. Are you talking to me? Yes. No, sound waves can make your head spin into the sun. I've seen it happen, man. If only I hadn't lost my mushroom of truth in the guild, I'd be able to show you. Uh. Okay, what did your friend say? Hey, uh, hey, if you keep really still, I can see your skeleton. Far out, man. You're from the guild, aren't you? Man, what a place. Uh, if you go back there, maybe you can find our mushroom. 
I was standing on those stepping stones in that pool where the door talks. Man, it just flew right out of my hand. Alright, so we got a clue about where his mushroom is. Well, let's go ahead and go to the picnic area, like I was saying, because here we find yet another mushroom. And remember, we need four in all, so this is going to be... So the guild list is going to be number one. The lookout point traders is going to be number two. And this is going to be number three. The fourth one we can't really deal with until we get to uh, Oakvale, so... Well, which is all the same with the first one, so... Anyways... Walking. Why is he walking, strange looking man? Oh, that's Look, strange looking. I ate the mushroom, Mimi. They all said I'd laugh my niggas off if I ate it, and I, like, totally did. And, like, I'm not. So far, it's a big zero of chuckles. Can you make me laugh? Come on! Like, in it, please? Alright, so the, the, the legitimate way to do this is to go into your expressions, go to alignment, and find the Cossack dance, and use it in front of them. A hero that dances? What clown? Do another one! Another one! And you need to do this three times. While well, people are booing me. <laughs> that was hilarious! God, their voice. <laughs> oh, he's just too much. Here! And we get our first blue mushroom. Uh, these are extremely rare. And eating them has strange effects on those who consume them. So, yeah. What's new? Oh, that gave me a lot of happy points. Uh, good points. Ouch. That sucks. Oh, well, I'll make it up somehow. But, uh... Let's see, we're already at 17 minutes. Alright, this is going to be a little bit longer. But I do want to go ahead and get that one mushroom from the guild. So, let's just go ahead and quickly run back there and I'll show you exactly where it is. Hey. Yeah, yeah, we already know. It's, well, this kind of works out anyways, because I need to start at the guild anyways for the next episode. Because we'll be doing the Hob Killing Contest next. Which is a good good way to get some experience, which would be helpful for me. I mean, slow time's going to be a bit of a help anyways, but... Hmm. Alright, so... Eh, got a burp coming on. Okay, that was weird. I couldn't move there for a second. Hmm. This game. Alright, so basically what we have to do is we have to go back to where the demon door was because that's kind of where he mentioned the mushroom being. So let's go ahead and go there. And you do need your fishing rod in order to get this mushroom. So, yeah, the fishing rod is just getting all sorts of use today. And you just go over here, and you can see the ripple to our left. If I can get the prompt going, we can get this done. How a mushroom bites back, I'm not entirely sure, but... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and that is blue mushroom number two. Oh, that was a little weird. I <laughs> thought the game was uh, crashing or something. Uh, so anyways, now that we've done that, I guess I'll go ahead and call the video. Let's go ahead and go back to the quest map and um, we'll sign out then. So this is Guy Christian 9. This has been Let's Play Fable Anniversary. And in the next episode, well, give me a sec to kind of show it off. Because it kind of went end off like that. But in the next episode, we will go ahead and take on, once it loads, the Hob Killing Contest. So until then, I will see you guys later.